in order to get that understanding. I saw this one, this post on social media a few days ago, and I thought it was very, very interesting because like I said, what was our history before slavery? What was our history before we allowed the, uh, well, the most High put the Gentiles over us to pretty much lie to us about everything? It says, did you know a Jedi is an Israelite? You didn't think they came up with this all on their own. It says, you can't make this up. And it's so true. I looked it up myself and I looked at my strong concordance and it was right there. So now, you know, most a lot of us grew up watching Star Wars, watching Luke Skywalker and being our hero, watch Darth Vader, Darth Maul, all these guys and all their powers that they had and the things that they could do. And, you know, growing up, we all wish that we could be a Jedi, you know, wish we had those kinds of powers, not knowing that a lot of that stuff's already in us. And it's just for a certain amount of time, it was lay, it lie, was lying dormant. But then we start to look at the other books. You'll start to see real quick about how um, our our brothers and sisters were doing things like the Jedi's were. Superhuman things. And now it starts to make more sense. Like, you know, when you see like a police officer shooting down one of our little kids who's unarmed. Or, you know, they have one of our young teenagers and they shoot him down and he didn't have anything. But these cops have guns, tasers, sticks, dogs, you know, <laughs> they have all these weapons, SWAT, but they're fearing for their lives. Now it makes sense because in their spirit, they know the things that our people were capable of and will be capable of again in the future. So even with all of their weapons, they still fear for their lives. No other people get this kind of treatment because they don't fear other people, but they do fear us even in our weakened state. And that's why it makes so much sense like when they talked about having um, a black man, you know, Israelite Hebrew right here, you know, pl playing a part of a Jedi, how there was so much pushback because in their spirit, they already know the truth. They already know that the, when the Most High decides to give us, you know, to reinstate us back into our rightful position, that this is what they're going to have to deal with. You know, they're going to have to deal with um, the brethren, 144,000 with superhuman powers who aren't going to for, who aren't going to forget the way that they were treated when they were at the lower state when the most high releases them and says give to them double treat them how they treated you now it all starts to make much more sense that's why they fear us so much because when the most high awakens his people they're not going to be happy. When the shoe's on the other foot, how they have not been shown any mercy, don't expect any from them. So they got these uh, ideas 